this is for all the newbies that have been asking me about how to get compiz and the desktop queue. Now I don't mind showing you how to do it, it's just that please don't post any shitty ass compiz videos on YouTube because we have a lot of those already, okay? So with that being said, um we're gonna install compiz and uh, the desktop queue, okay? Now Compass is installed by default on Ubuntu already or a Linux Mint same thing. Um however it's not enabled because um they don't know what kind of hardware you have and if you turn on Compass it might slow down your computer even more. So you need a uh, decent computer, okay? And you also need a decent graphic card that can handle Compass. Now if you have those, um all you got to do is uh enable your graphic card with the drivers okay now if you have an NVIDIA it should go smoothly if you have an um, ATI it would probably be different see NVIDIA just you know select your latest drivers and uh, ATI uh, just get the default right now but in the future you might have to look for a package called NV or something like that I heard that was the best for ATI I don't have an ATI so I'm not really sure okay so you need to um, enable your drivers okay and also you need to um, enable compiz now to enable compiz is uh, like this okay um, on your desktop here all you do is right click and it says change desktop background right <coughs> and this thing should pop up and right here they have a visual effects tab now in mint they have a custom but in ubuntu um, you have an extra and just a enable that, okay? And you'll have Compass uh, enable, okay? However, you also need a um, the Advanced Manager for Compass. So you gotta open your Synaptic to install stuff, okay? Synaptic Package Manager, and search for um, Compass Config Setting Manager here, okay? And install that. Now, after you install that, uh, you open it, and it looks like this, right? <clears throat> now this is where all the compass effects and everything all the settings are managed right here okay so for the desktop cube uh, you go to you have to go to generals first right here generals and go to general options and what you're gonna do in here is go to the, the desktop size and you want four horizontally uh, that means is um, you see there's one, two, three, four are going across. And those are gonna be the size for your cube, okay? If you have less than that, it's not gonna be a cube, okay? So that just you know, common sense. Uh so after you have that uh enable, and then go back now, and we're gonna go to the desktop tab, and we're gonna enable three things. Um desktop cube. Uh, rotate cube and viewport switcher. Now, when you enable something with the check, it will it'll usually pop up something like this, and I'll tell you to disable some other shit. Go ahead and do that, okay? And um, because it has conflicts with other effects, that's why you have to disable the other ones. So in um, let me see the rotate cube here. You click on it. In here, um. In generals, right? Generals, there's um, the zoom feature. The zoom feature is, um, let me see, like by default, it's zero or whatever, right? Now, if you do that, it's gonna look stupid. See, the, the the cube is really big, right? Now, the zoom feature is, um, let's say you uh, move it over here. It's gonna make it smaller. The cube, see, smaller. That's what you want. So that's how you do that. Now let's go back, and we're gonna go to the desktop cube. Click on that. Now in the appearance tab, you want a sky dome. What is a sky dome? A sky dome is that picture in the back. You see that guy with with his car, and he has a gun. All right. That's the sky dome picture. It can be any picture. Uh, just choose it. Um, 
you know select the image you want and also make sure the check right here is enabled because that's sky dome now if you want an animated sky dome then you can do that too like animated sky dome is going to be a little weird like this see look okay but I don't really like that one so that's how you do that one now you want transparency like uh, you see my shit is transparent right I can see through it uh, you go to the transparency in the cube here and you set the opacity during rotation and select whatever number you want okay it's up to you right you can see through it now so that's all you gotta do in that and I go back now the viewport switcher is um, is this okay if you if your mouse is on the desktop here right all you gotta do is use your wheel your mouse wheel if you have one and it'll switch to the next um, virtual desktop see so that's what it is for now if you want to uh, you know do the the cube rotating manually um, you hold on your um, your middle click button right and hold it and you can spin it okay and if you don't have a middle button you can always use the keyboard and the mouse keyboard is a uh, control out and button one on your mouse and it's the same deal okay you spin it so that's how you do it you fucking idiots okay the cube uh, comp is done just don't post any more shitty ass video okay if you want to impress your friends or your family locally that's fine by me but as far as spamming I do have a problem with that <laughs> so that's it that's how you do it it's pretty useless but you'll figure that out later okay